Scoot your chair up. Hold on. I feel I'm not that far. Thanks for tuning in, everyone, for another episode of Drinking Buddies. We are at our second episode for the temporary Drinking Buddies headquarters right now. Today we have Big Lake's Hazy Lineup. So Big Lake Brewing in Holland, Michigan. They have their staple Hazy IPA, and then they did four variants of it. I could not find the, the, the base Hazy IPA, so we only have the four flavored ones, but those are really the ones that we wanted to try out anyways, so yep. kind of works out. So let's, let's get into them and get to cracking. Let's go. None of them say exactly how much alcohol is in them, but the base... Hazy IPA is 5.5% alcohol, so I have to assume that all the other four are going to be 5.5% alcohol. So. We're fairly close. Right. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> We're starting today off with the Cotton Candy Haze. So that is a Cotton Candy flavored Juicy New England IPA. I could have assumed that. Oh, wowee. She is carbonated. First beer, Cotton Candy flavored New England IPA. Not a one bit of cotton candy flavor. A little bit on the back end. After the hops calm down? Yeah. Really? I got a little bit. It's like the pink cotton candy, not like blue, but like, okay. I don't know if it's flavored differently, but I feel like it is. It's in there. It's so light. And so, I mean, I wonder how much cotton candy you'd have to add to where it, you'd really say, holy cow, there's a lot of cotton candy in here. Right. Probably a whole bunch. Um, I really don't, I don't taste a lot, and I want to think that I do. But it works well. Yeah. Like, I'm very surprised. Yeah. I'm glad it's not, like, way overpowering. And way too sweet. Yeah. Yeah. But really, I mean, all you can taste is the yeah. citra and the mosaic hops just coming through. Yeah. So and it, it pours like a like a banana kind of look and color to it. Really, really light yellow. Very hazy. Yeah. You ain't seen through that one. No. What I like about their hazy line, all of these are going to be brewed with uh, citra and mosaic, which are our two favorite hops. So obviously this kind lineup, of <laughs> yeah, this lineup kind of really spoke to us. So all I'm really getting is the citra mosaic hop flavor. Um, there is kind of a, I guess I kind of can feel it, but again, you really have to love IPAs to like this beer because the cotton candy flavor is kind of more subtle than oh, yeah. anything else. So, um, But the hot flavor is very, I mean, it's not bitter, I mean, a little bit bitter, but not uh, not much at all. Yeah. And it's just really fruity either way. Right. Although the cotton candy flavor isn't really coming through, it is still a really good, freshly hopped, good, tasty, refreshing beer. So yeah. it's not yeah. like super noticeable that they had a cotton candy. You wouldn't pick it out out of a blind taste test. What they yeah, add to it. You would struggle for yeah. sure. Like a four? Yeah, I um, was four. I was right there at a four because I'm okay. like, it is, it's top tier, yeah. but it's not like crazy. You get the hot flavors and then it resides into that subtle cotton candy. So it goes from really tropical citrusy fruit to kind of like almost like a sweet, Kind right. of, it's something to help glide downwards, so and it keeps like the it. keeps the flavor in there. Yep. I'm gonna see if we got the freaking timestamp on there because I see something. That's a good one. I don't see it. I thought he was quitting. Tried. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Second one, Blood Orange Haze, New England IPA featuring Citra Mosaic hops. And brewed with real blood oranges. Same alcohol percentage, five and a half, just with blood orange. That's a little more better. Yeah. <laughs> this one's definitely got a different color to it. Yeah. A little darker, a little more ambery, if yeah. you will. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, blood orange haze. See, I, you get a lot of the blood orange, like, right off of it. Yeah. And it actually almost, I feel like it dulls down the hops a little yeah, bit because it's not very much so, so hoppy. That one was, or the cotton candy haze was way more hoppy than this. Yeah. Uh, right off the get, hazy as can be again. Yeah. The color, though, is a little bit more on the orange side. 
a little bit, a yeah. little bit darker orange color to this one. And um, Trevor, being the scientist that he is, concluded that it may be from the blood oranges. Well, so this, yeah, not a whole bunch of hop flavor, and it's just all citrus, like almost orange, yeah. orange juice flavored. And yeah, the hops are a little bit uh, dulled down, so it makes it easier to drink. Yep. It kind of, yeah, just smooths it out, yeah. which is weird because I would have thought the cotton candy would have smoothed it out more. Yeah, with it being so sweet. Right. Well, I mean, oh shit, oranges are pretty, oranges are pretty sweet too. Maybe clementine. A tiny bit of a grapefruit flavor from the blood yeah. orange, but it's mostly orange juice. Yeah. It's more orange, I feel like, than, um, well, I get a little bit of a uh, bitter tingle. It's tingle, yeah, tingly. Yeah. yeah, for sure. On the tongue. Huh, cool. Tingly Actually, on the tongue. I, I, I think I prefer this one. Yeah. The cotton candy, for real. I mean. It's juicier. I wish I had a little more of the hop flavor. You're right. Yeah. Like, just a little bit more citrusy hop flavor, I think it would be that yeah. much better. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's true. But yes, it is better than the cotton candy. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, it so drinks. That. Drinks easy. Well, because a lot of one of my new oh. ones is at uh, Molly's, so. Molly Ringwald? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Who the fuck is Molly Ringwald? Like in, uh... Breakfast Club. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, 16 Candles. Game. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it would. This is a steel trap. Like, Apparently not. It's <laughs> Molly Ringwald. Got loose. <laughs> She's slick. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta watch her. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. If you wanna watch Joe Rogan, go watch Joe Rogan. Light hop, easy drinking, mm -hmm. juicy, and that grapefruity, super citrusy, blood orange flavor comes through and um, just isn't as hazy and pillowy as the cotton candy. Yeah. And the hops do not come through as much, but it is still really nice to drink. I mean, for that, I'm going to give it a 4-1. <laughs> I'm going to give it a 4-1 because it is just juicier. It drinks a little bit more enjoyable than the cotton candy, whereas that one was just kind of more bitter. I, I like I like how juicy this is, so I'm, I'm yeah. going to hit this one with a 4-1. Like I bought it before, and I will buy it again. Yeah. I'll meet you at a 4-1. Just because. 4-1? Yeah. Okay. We have two more to try. I okay. mean, yeah, that's true. Because it, it could be hoppier. Yeah, it could be a little I, hoppier. So that's about the only thing is I wish the hop flavor came through a little bit more. Barely like, any hop flavor, I just mean, a little bitterness, like just from a normal. That's almost IPA. like the rind. Yeah. Of you know what I mean? Yeah. Grapefruit riny kind of bitterness. Mm -hmm. Third beer, it is very similar to the Blood Orange, but we wanted to make sure to do them back to back to see which one is a little bit better. Tangerine Haze. Um, Citra Mosaic Hops brewed with real tangerines. Yeah. I could have guessed. Right. <laughs> yeah, they don't they don't leave much on set. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely I feel like the brightest can. Yeah. And I hate to say it, marketing does play a part. Right, you'd be like, because oh. I yeah. I got excited seeing it. But look at the foam. It's like orange. Right off the pour, it's even more orange juice looking than the uh, blood orange. Yes. I mean, this tangerine is super, super hazy, super orange, and it's like more murky. Yeah. It's murkier than the... Even the foam had an orange hue. Yeah. So I have high hopes. Tangerine haze. And see, I like it because now the hops are able to come through. Yep. I a little it. bit more. It's not as rimey tasting. Yeah. Yep. It is still juicy. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't stop. <laughs> uh, fuck. Yeah, it's just as juicy as the blood orange, but the tangerine doesn't coat and mask the hops with that grapefruit blood orange bitterness. So you can actually pull through the hops more on this. Yeah, this, I'll, I'll agree. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad we did these back to back because yeah. I, I mean, yeah, this is this is really it's quite really the good. difference. Yeah, yeah, still really juicy, easy to drink, and you still get a lot of hot flavor. 
or a good, uh, an okay amount of Still cotton. not as much as the cotton candy. Yeah. Surprisingly. Because yeah. there was nothing to mask it with. That cotton candy was so yeah. subtle. So, yeah. Well, I wonder if they're using whole tangerines and whole blood oranges. Because, yeah, that, that riny kind of bitterness is kind of actually on the back tongue. Like, way yeah. in the back. I can feel some, some rind, actually. Now that I haven't taken a sip in a little while, yeah. it's kind of cottony. It, the beer isn't dry by any means, but... After the beer fades away, you get that that riny bitterness, like mixed with the dry hop, which is still an amazing flavor. But yeah, it's, yeah. it's leaving the back of the tongue a little dry on the sides. And but it makes you thirsty. It makes you thirsty. You're going for another drink. It's perfect. I'm telling you, this business. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Arvin. Everybody at Arvin. All the bartenders, super informative. All their beers, top tier beers. If you've never been to Arvin in Grand Rapids, Michigan, or had any beers by them, highly recommend going there because every single time it's 16, 12, 12 16 new beers that I've never seen before every single time I go there. Um, pumping out new crazy stuff, and it's, it's definitely worth the trip. Juicy, easy to drink, and still at the back end. You get that that dry hop citrus mosaic flavor. I I love it. I'm a citrus guy, and this one is really really hitting with me. And I honestly want to give it a four four. Four four. It's high, but I mean. I guess I'm in it at a four two. I like it a lot. Well, Quite a bit. I'll, I'll probably be buying more. I'll drink to that. Three down, one last one to go. Mango haze, love it. Love us some uh, some mango. Love mango. Love mosaic. Love citra. Win win win. You better bring it, Lake. Big Lake. <laughs> Big Lake haze. Mango haze line. <laughs> Fourth and final beer. Big Lake Brewings. Mango haze. Extremely carbonated. Yeah. There's no head on it. It's like just all foam. Mm -hmm. Burt fat factor like crazy. Oh, yeah, it's in there. Oh, you can't take a drink with uh, without bourbon on something like this here. <laughs> Hot flavor is, I think, the lowest. But I do get the mango. Oh, I get the mango for sure. And smelling it, like when you pour it, you smell nothing but. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that for sure. Still not able to see through it, but it is that super, super light straw kind of uh, color. Almost the lightest um, that you can get. It's like, yeah, like a banana yeah, it's yellowish. Yep. Yeah. It is really subtle on the mango. I can tell that it's there. The hops don't really shine through. And that might be the sweetness from the mangoes. Maybe it is real. Maybe they, maybe they just didn't put a lot into it where it's like that fresh mango flavor. But it has to be because the sweetness of the mango covers the bitterness of the hops. And I actually, I don't get any bitterness like from the hops. I can kind of tell that there's some hoppy citrus mosaic in there. But it's, it's, it's held down by the, uh, the mango. Yes. Very much so. But at first taste, I, I feel like I'm getting some upfront hot bitterness tingles, and then it resides into a really too easy drinking mango flavor. Yeah. I guess the mango and the hops, they work together. Yeah. But in like at, at the beginning, it's like a tingly hot flavor, and then it mm -hmm. resides, and the mango kind of takes over. Yeah. Because in the beginning, I feel like I'm getting some really good dry hot flavor in there. And it is good, and then that mango pairs with it. But I think this is the the beer that resides the quickest. Yeah, like I now I can why. hardly taste anything. I know, it's all up front. It's like just initial dry hop, citrus mosaic, and then a, a subtle, you know, maybe, for me it's a two out of five on the mango flavor um, of yeah. what I'm getting. It's not. It's not really. It's not bright and. And huge popping out at you, but yeah, it's like a two out of five on the mango flavor, and that's interacting with the the dry hop flavor. But all of that is just in the first two, 
maybe yeah. three seconds of drinking it. And it doesn't leave your mouth dry. Yeah. yeah another, I, another easy drinker. For sure. Yeah. I mean, they're all, every one of them are mm -hmm. definitely killer and need to be dried. I'm not huge on the mango flavor. It's not very huge and bright. Um, the hops do come through in the beginning, but again, it all resides really, really quick. And it's more of just like a super easy drinking. I, I wouldn't be surprised if someone told me this is like a 4% beer, like a, a session, you know, a session mango IPA. Um, I would probably have to give this a 3.8. And that's because I'm not getting a lot of hops, and I'm not getting a lot of mango. For sure. So I think a 4-2. Yeah. So the mango haze, not a lot of hop flavor, not a lot of mango flavor. Um, <coughs> God damn it. Mango haze. <laughs> Mango haze, subtle mango flavor, um, okay hot flavor. It was all in the beginning and then resided a little too quickly for me. Blood orange haze had that riny grapefruit orange flavor, extremely subtle hot flavor because of the bitterness of the blood orange, um, just a little bit more hop to it to differentiate the bitterness from the hop and the blood orange. Cotton candy haze, I absolutely loved the amount of hops that they put in there. Let's say it's all the same. I loved that the cotton candy did not interrupt the hop flavor that was in it because it was a really, really good hop flavor, the dry hop mosaic and citra. I did love it, but I did not get a lot of cotton candy, but I'm not mad about it. Tangerine. <laughs> <laughs> Tangerine, I got a, um, a medium hot flavor, the citrus of the mosaic, but then it had the tangerine flavor that wasn't very bitter and riny. It just made it so juicy and easy to drink with that good amount of good, not great, not amazing, but good amount of hot flavor in there. I think this was the easiest drinking one, and I did prefer the citrus notes to it that came from the tangerine. What you got? Give me everything I got! <laughs> Blood orange haze. It was the most riny. Good flavor overall. I mean the mosaic and citra didn't come through so much. I think it was mostly because it was so riny. The tangerine haze was a bit more fruity. The hop flavor, I mean, again, came through a little bit, but the rye, I think the rind flavor kind of over, overrides that. I, I did like the mango. I wish that there was more flavor to it. Yeah. It just, it seemed like it could, it was lacking. The cotton candy, that really really surprised me and I guess I mean for that one episode I was thinking that it was going to be something entirely different mm -hmm. and yeah when it I mean it's don't let the cotton candy description fool you it's still very hoppy little tiny bit of bitterness not much we had about two ounces out of each can left over from the flight glasses so we're gonna sit and sip on all four of the leftovers on the cans, see how that works out. We just got another recommendation for a smoothie sour, so that's gonna be coming up next. Apparently a lot of people liked that. Thanks for watching everyone. Drinking Buddies, Brandon and Trevor, and we'll see you next time. All blood orange. Yeah. All blood orange. Fischau.